Welcome back YouTube, I'm MTG Joe and today we have ourselves a brew. So this is something I was working on with uh, an individual on the arena subreddit, Let There Be Rock. So he had asked about brewing around two cards. Calvocate a Calamity, where we've played a few times on the channel. Uh, whenever you attack with a creature power one or less, it deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. And then High Alert, which basically reassigns damage with their toughness as opposed to their power and will allow defenders to attack. So really what you're trying to do is then use Tetsuku Umozawa Fugitive uh, to make all your creatures with power, toughness, one or less unblockable. Uh, so it's kind of playing around these cards. There's a few more moving parts and a bit slower than most of our Calvocade decks where we tried to just play about a bunch of hasty one mana creatures in Smash Face. Um, so this deck here, I'll run it through some of the cards. Haven't played it at all, so this might be a total pile, but it seemed like an interesting concept to try to get through. Um, so the deck itself, we have Resolute Watchdog. It's a 1-mana, one 1-3 one, defender that we can sacrifice to give our, another creature indestructible. So this can protect, say, Tetsuku or some of our other creatures where need be. Uh, Concordia Pegasus is an evasive creature that's a 1-3, uh, just good stats for what we're trying to do. can effectively be a 3-3 flyer for 2. Uh, we have Tokatli Honor Guard. Uh, this causes uh, creatures entering the battlefield not to trigger. So this shuts off Chain Whirler, this shuts off any of the Explore creatures. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of effects that this shuts off. So it does not have an impact a bit on us, but it should in theory slow the opponent down more. Uh, we have Omen Speaker that just allows us to scry, uh, just smooth out our draws. Tetsuku, which I mentioned, uh, gives our creatures unblockable. Because it's legendary, we're only playing three in the deck. Uh, Im Immolation Shaman. So this is a rare that's pretty much a junk rare, but I had it cracked a few, so I thought I'd try it out. So whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land that isn't a mana ability, uh, it deals one damage to that player. So if the opponent uses the flip side of Escanta, they get pinged. And then if we flood out, it just becomes uh, quite powerful as a 4-6 uh, menace threat. We have the Calvocades, we have the High Alerts. Uh, Militia Bugler uh, doesn't really work in terms of Calvocade, but it's what I like to put in creature decks that are more like scalable in terms of their powers. So in this case here, because we're really attacking with toughness for the most part, and we want that small power, a Militia Bugler could get any creature in our deck when it enters the battlefield. Uh, and then we have Sailor Means, which gives us treasures. Uh, when it enters, just helps us ramp. And then we have Unbreakable Formation as well. Uh, this will just protect our creatures, and in a pinch could just give us uh, Vigilance as well. Mana Base is pretty much Jeskai with a couple basics. Um, looking at the deck again, we have 12 creatures with the ETB effects enter the battlefield, so Takatli might need to be cut, but we'll play a couple games, see how it goes. Uh, that's the best way to usually test out these brews. Uh, so we'll give it a, a shot, play some unranked, because this is definitely not a ranked deck to start off with. And we'll give it a shot. So for those of you who haven't done so already, uh, if you enjoy the content, want to show your support, uh, subscribing, the little button in the bottom right-hand corner, it's a free and easy way to do so. Uh, it helps me meet some of my YouTube uh, thresholds, but it really just is a great way for us to interact and show your support. Um, also, uh, if you want to do something similar to uh, what Let It Re There Be Rock is, I did on Reddit, and we kind of brewed together some decks. Uh, either join the conversation on Reddit, uh, in the Arena subreddit, I'm MTG underscore Joe there as well, or you can just drop a comment uh, below and we can work some stuff out there. Uh, themes, stuff like that. I really enjoy brewing, so this is a good way to connect. So, a bit longer of a wait, but jumping in now, let's see how this goes. Uh, so we'll keep this hand. We got lands, omen speaker, can scry us into some red sources, and then blue glare can draw some cards. So high alert's also good there. Uh, so here... Don't think we want the Omen Speaker, but we'll take the red source. 
So this is teamer mana. Not sure if this is teamer reclamation or creature based deck yet. Oh, this is four color, so even more interesting. Um, here we need to decide if we want to attack for three or advance our board state. Uh, let's attack for three. We came here to high alert. Not sure what the opponent's up to just yet. So here we'll attack in and then we'll just double spell this turn. Play Concordia Pegasus and Tetsuku. Honestly don't know what the opponent's on, so they might have a board wipe, but... Okay, so it's likely some sort of control deck or mid-range. We have 9 damage next turn with the Calvocade, it's 12. So that probably signifies a board wipe. So good to know they have Cleansing Nova. So here... We could Sailor means, and then play out the Calvocade with the land we get off it, and just play Hallowed Fountain. This is 5 damage a turn when it attacks. So we got out the namesake cards this turn, this game, which is good. Um, I think this deck will have a, a bit of variance, where we have these out, the deck will look really good. Where we don't, it'll be pretty bad. Because then you're just with a bunch of like 1-4s, 1-3s. So here, we'll attack in. Trigger Calvocade. So here I'm just going to play with the Bugler. We play that out before the Takatli because it'll turn off the effect. So this is one instance where we need to be mindful. Uh, we'll take the Shaman here. And I think we'll just end the turn here. We're presenting lethal to the opponent so they need to do something. And I don't want to overextend into a board wipe. Opponent's probably going to flash back in sight. Okay, so they revitalize here. Okay, so that invalidated most of our attack. So this is blacklist control. Probably playing Hydroid Crisis. Not sure if this is like an omniscient stack. So we'll get one Calvocate trigger. So they Electro Dominance us for five. And into Cleansing Nova. Uh, opponent's going for style points. So we'll just play out both the creatures here. Pass the turn. What is this deck? Like, they haven't played Planeswalkers, so we don't know if it's Super Friends. Oh, that's really cool. Didn't know those sleeves did that. So they play Growth Spiral here, ramping some more. So it's a ramp, probably just fireball deck. We're stopping on our upkeep. What are they doing here? So doing it before we have the second mana, which hurts. We can't pump it up. So we'll hit him for four this turn. Okay, so this is one instance where honor guards hurt us. 
we don't get the benefit off Bugler, so I think we're gonna cut the Honor Guards. That would have been a good to draw us into another creature. So we'll have to find some other creatures to throw in there. Okay, so opponent's digging. They don't have an answer right now. They have Clarion. Okay, so Wilderness Reclamation. So I'm going to play this out now because we can protect our one of our creatures. So opponent needs something this turn. We can protect the Tithkotli. So here, let's float the mana. Uh, just protect Tikotli, because even if they kill it in response, we can still get the Calamity trigger. It's the inverse of a big booty, minus 17. Opponent takes us off red, but if they don't have another effect, then... Okay, so they have Blessing. Wow. Triple. kind of nutty. So they shuffled two in and then still managed to triple. It's kind of ridiculous. Now with Niv we're probably dead. We can play out Omen Speaker. Takatli shuts that off. Yeah. We're dead. So we're going to go ahead and cut Takatli. Saves you guys rares as well, but that was not what we wanted. Okay, so by Takatli. Let's go creatures. Let's look the other view. So I want to try to avoid defenders just so they can attack either way. Dauntless bodyguards a way to protect as well. Twilight Panther doesn't do too much. In uh, Stubhorn Sentry might actually be good. It's a one drop for our deck. It gets bigger so it doesn't time. Let's see if there's anything better. We have the Pegasus. I want to keep the curve fairly low, so don't want anything over three mana. Okay, let's go to blue. There's Excavator, which doesn't really do much otherwise. And the Bond doesn't really do much. Surge Mare is a little awkward on the mana, and in and of itself. We have more Surveil. Yeah, I think let's try that out. I think the Stubhorn would be useful. So the first game we lost, but the opponent did run uh, a little lucky. Triple revitalize off the top.
ranked has been re or, uh, unranked has been really slow today. We're at 45 seconds for this. Come on, find us an opponent. Okay. So, we got us an opponent. Uh, this hand, janky, but we'll keep. It's a little awkward because we don't have come into play on tap lands. So we can't curve out properly. But, got a lot of action here. Like I said, we're here to play high alert and cavalcade. So if it's in our hand and it's castable in a couple of turns. Snubhorn's good against mono red. Our deck's actually really good against mono red because most of their stuff's uh, two ones or two twos and we're all one threes. So interesting, the opponent didn't attack the first turn. Opponent attacks in. If they want to blow a shock here, they can. But this way it turns off light up the stage. Okay, so we'll just play. Wanted to hit another land there. This doesn't do much in the matchup other than block. Not sure if opponent has lightning strike. Feel like they would have used it and then attacked in with the fanatical firebrand. So here. Here we'll shock in, play the bugler, and the next turn we can play high alert. Or if we draw another land. Ah, that sucked. Wanted to hit that. Reverse factor. We'll take the damage. Bugler can at least start pressuring the opponent by attacking in. They play Lava Runner. So since we drew another bugler, probably play the bugler out. Perhaps get him to overextend. Okay, so here. Let's take the resolute watchdog. We can play that next turn and uh, calamity. Or actually, emulatings want the opponent to overextend here, so they're probably going to flash back the risk factor. Okay, so they have act of treason. We'll take the damage here. They attack in. We have twelve damage right now. Get them for a surprise attack. So we'll play this in tapped. Attack with both the buglers. This gets them further down, and then next turn we could high alert and hit them with everything. This also turns on Snubhorn. Okay, so the opponent needs four points of burn to kill us. 
they have the Fanatical Firebrand. Otherwise, next turn, high alert. Ah, oh, perfect. So that gives us some blockable. But we want to attack with our butts. So let's work this out. So they block 6 damage and they take 12. Which isn't enough. We have 2 blockers back regardless. We try to wait a turn. The unblockable doesn't help, so I think we still need to high alert. And then smash in with everything, have the buglers back for blockers, resolute watchdog protect militia buglers. I don't think we can wait, so ideally we wanted another land. If we could have had both, then our three guys would have been unblockable. They still block the same, so it didn't make too much difference. We needed the cavalcade and the high alert there. Opponent's thinking, we'll see what they have. Opponent's roping us, okay. So we attack for everything. They'll take 12 here. That might actually kill them. <laughs> Immolation Shaman for the win. Because we all thought that would be how we would win. Clearly the standard all-star Immolation Shaman. Too big, too strong, too fast. So, surprisingly, the deck is not terrible. Alrighty, what do we got? So, we got all tap to come and play tap lines. Ah, we'll try it. Lead on the Sulphur Falls. Play a Glacial afterwards. A Shockland or something. Okay. Just makes our curve a lot better. Uh, do we want Pegasus Pegasus? We can Sailor means next turn. Nah, I th think we're okay without the Pegasus. Pegasi. Next turn we're going to Sailor Means, following turn we're going to Calvocate and Omen Speaker, and then hold up for me. Alright, so... We do have the option... Yeah, let's play out Snubhorn as well. Gets us ahead. No attacks right now. Play another Death Bloom. So here we'll just play out Sulfur. Let's see what we get with the Omen Speaker first. Play a Calamity. Uh, here, no tax. Really want a high alert.
We might just unbreakable formation. It's kind of a nonbo with cavalcade, but it'll allow us to continually attack. Okay, opponents on open the graves. So here, let's take one more turn. We'll set up. Opponent might try to start suiciding these in. They'd block there and there. Yeah, we could probably just make them bigger, give them vigilance. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Immolating Shaman. Punish them for using that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll go with this. Makes Calvacade worse, but if we draw a high alert, we pretty much kill him. Opponent might offer the tra like the kill here because they'll get two zombies for each of them dying. Gives them a target for the Grave Waker. Next turn we can just start menacing this. Attacking in. We menace, it becomes six toughness, five power, so we kill even if they double block. But they can just trade with the Death Bloom. Vampire Sovereign. That sucks. And this is where the deck, like where we don't have high alert, we just have these dirtily creatures. They have 8 power in the air, they attack us for 5. Ooh, Tetsuku. But this doesn't do anything now. Just play out Tetsuku. Pass the turn. So a little preemptive on the formation. Probably should have just used it defensively. So opponent can start activating Grave Waker. They'll take a point of damage if they do. Opponent is playing fairly defensively at the, up to this point. Okay, so they attack with the Sovereign. That's fine. Uh, so here... It's unblockable right now, so we'll just do that. Try to get some chip damage in, and then alpha strike them in one turn. We'll hold this up. We don't really have anything to use the mana for, so might as well fake like we do. It's going to combat, probably hidden. Okay, so and depending on what they follow up, we'll probably alpha strike this turn. We're dead the next turn, so we need to make a, a move this turn. Okay, so we'll just activate. Opponent probably has a removal spell. They don't. At least they don't it doesn't appear to. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. 
they can block six damage or they can block five damage so six might actually have them ah they have the murder so opponent probably has this one they block here block there two four six seven So we'll give them a chance. They might block incorrectly. But uh, we had them lethal if they didn't have the removal spell. Opponent's thinking about it. So they double block there, two, four, six. Uh, it's just... nah, okay, whatever. We are dead. Opponent made that a lot more complicated than it needed to. Run it back for one more. Deck's not terrible. For a random pile, it's got some game. So we'll just wait for this to get going, and then we'll uh, run it back for another game. So this hand here, yeah, we'll keep. Got quite a few options. Probably lead on the Pegasus, to be honest. It's, really, it's the least impactful. Would have liked this to have a white untap ability, but other than that, can't really complain. So let's just go Pegasus here. So opponents on vampires. Uh, so here, just play out Tatsuku. We'll have to race them because we don't really play removal. This matchup's gonna be really hard. They'll get a lot bigger than us. Uh, nothing but snub horns. Uh, it's the most mana efficient. This gives us a better blocker. Play that out. Attack him for two. If we do land next turn, we can sailor into Snubhorn. It's going to race us quite well. Play this out, then play Cavalcade next turn. Just do that. Blocking with this deck. Uh, the pride mate's going to be disgusting. Uh, just block like this. They gain three. 
and validates everything we've done to this point. So they got rid of our unblockable, which hurts. I don't think we're winning this one, so let's just run it back for another game. Alright, we'll take it for one more, see how we go, and then uh, wrap it up. When you go for these like gimmicky decks, like we've a lot of the space where we'd play removal is kind of phased out by having to play eight enchantments that on their own don't do anything. You need a conjunction of other cards. Come on. This wait time is really weird today. Keep. Well, we generally laugh at mono white for, or the one toughness. Once they start uh, getting out Benelish, then we're in a bit of trouble. Legion's landing pings them for one whenever they create a creature. Come on, opponent. The very difficult lines of attacking with your 1-1 one -one into no open mana. Could be mono white life gain, mono white vampires. Let's set up our next few draws. We don't want any more lands. Don't think we want either. Want to try hit a one drop or a three drop? Just double spell in a turn. Depending what they go with, we might just... Okay, so they play another Legion's Landing. Probably won't attack, doesn't make sense. So here, just to keep our life total high. We'll do this, no attacks. Next turn we can put this into tap, play out high alert, and then we can double calamity. So that would then deal two damage for each. So it's four, and then we have, yeah, so it's 10 damage per attack. That's very good and makes our blocks awkward. I'm gonna double block here, just take something off the battlefield. Uh, so here, just have it enter tapped. No attacks here. Oh, we're doing nothing but calamitying. Uh, okay, four three. Can trade one, which is fine. Oh, that's a blowout. 
That is a blowout. Opponents at basically infinite life. Yeah. Well, that was a deck. Uh, with some games, some others, it's a little clunky. Uh, definitely needs uh, a deck where maybe bringing in, even with the toughness, if you do up to four toughness, play Deafening Clarion to sure up your aggro matchups. But it is what it is. Not a bad brew, but wouldn't recommend for competitive play. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and have a great one.